Well, for now, um, everybody's complaining that we don't even see a member of parliament. He's taking up a national assignment that's taking all his attention away. So we're telling him to focus on the national assignment and leave Adenta constituency for us. What went wrong in 2016? Well, a lot of things. There was this huge drive push for change. So um, if, if this ATS cycle thing, I'm sure, played a role. But beyond that, a lot of the pundits were surprised that NDC even lost the Adenta constituency. Mm -hmm. So we're back to make amends. We're back to take back our seats. What is your definition of we are back to take our men's, back to take our seats? What is the strategy this time around? Because um, the NPP is also formidable here. I don't think so. If, if, if you're on the ground, you'd know that it's, that's not the case. It appears so, but that's not the case. Mm. Your definition of formidable? I mean, formidable, we are with the people. We relate very well with them. They know us. We know them. That's what I mean. So we're, we're well connected with the grassroots. You're contesting with a former gender minister who is also formidable. We've seen her campaigns on the ground. What do you think makes you stand out? Are you using the formidable the way I understand it or the way you understand it? I mean, yes, on the outside it looks like she's formidable, but when it comes to relating with the grassroots, no, she's not. And um, the results will tell at, at 6 o'clock when, when the results are declared. It would, it would look obvious that... She looks formidable on paper, but not on the ground.